he jumps with his staff as his boat as it's tall as him which is pretty huge and that's about it for accessories they don't really come with much so the difference between him and Thor is he has two bare arms he doesn't have a middle arm he has a blue cape this thing is hard to get on him and it still won't stay properly on and it <sighs> for some reason it doesn't even want to stick in the body at all Sheesh, it won't even stay in there it keeps popping off so easily The uh, thing here is just not properly fitting in there. I don't know what the heck's wrong with it. For some reason, when you put it on around his shoulders, the peg is not even close to the hole. The peg's not even close to the hole, so you have to really rip it down there just to plug it in. And I don't know how the heck you do this without it falling out. Anyways. His head sculpt isn't pretty bad. This is probably the comic version. Not familiar with the comic version. Mostly familiar with the movie version. Not much of a Thor fan, so I'm just used to the movie version. This is a pretty badass look. Okay, I'm not going to bother. Okay, this, this is the cape here. It has dark blue and light blues. Uh, I think there's a bit of black in there too. Pretty dope for a cape. also like the gold buttons right there. It's another cool feature on there. This is the back of this figure. Not bad. I actually like the paint throughout all the metal here. Love the gray and the dark black wash in there as well. Looks pretty dope. And <clears throat> not too much of a, much of a fan of this dress thing. I think this is a bit weird the dress thing. The skirt or whatever this is is pretty weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, take a look at their articulation it, his head does not go back that far his head doesn't go forward that far can't really see the difference okay, his arm can only go this far out he's an upper thigh swivel single jointed elbow and elbow swivel hand swivel and hinge has a diaphragm joint that goes doesn't go that far forward and doesn't go that far backward and it also pivots there is no this here uh oh okay I think there is but there is a waist swivel but it's Currently restricted by this mad skirt. Okay, and then his legs go that far out with this mad skirt on. Probably farther if you take the mad skirt off. They go that far forward. And then he has upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Feet go up, down, and a beautiful ankle pivot. Okay. That being said, I'll uh, I'll give you my thoughts on this one first. Then I will quickly go to the Thor bath. Uh, it's not a bad build a figure. You, if you're a huge Thor fan, you've got to have Odin. I don't think that type has gave gave the people an Odin yet, but. Although it's probably small, probably not as big as Odin. 
I I don't know the actual height of Odin, but I think this is a bit small, smaller maybe. I don't know. Either way, if you need an Odin, this is the one to get. Don't want Odin. You just want a badass King Thor. You can easily skip all the figures in the set that have his build a figure parts. Well, unless you want that figure. Either way, it's not a bad build a figure. There's nothing wrong, really wrong with the head sculpt. And I also dig the paint on this. I dig the gray paint applications on there as well. Okay, with that being said, I'll, I'll quickly switch him to King Thor. Okay, we're back, and I quickly switched him up to King Thor because they pretty much same share most of the parts, and they have same articulation and height. And I also only got one body for these guys, so either way, it doesn't really matter. Here's his accessory, the axe. I like the paint application for his metal here. Look, makes it so damn realistic. It was pretty dope. Then there's the wood part. Wish they would have actually tape painted the tape white on this thing. Make it a little bit more realistic. Pretty pointy. Anyways, let's uh, take a look at the differences with Thor. Instead of a blue cape, blue and gold cape, he comes with a red cape, uh, red with some mixtures of dark red. I, I like actually taking those capes with that mixture here. And then he comes with silver buttons. Those are pretty nice. And then he comes with this huge cape has the same problem. Just want to note that. Same problem as the Odin. And has this really dope metal arm. This is pretty dope. This is nice, man. Paint apps on and the sculpt detail on this, this is amazing. That is nice. And of course, the last and final difference is this dope King Thor face. Yeah, I, th I actually dig this look for him. Gives him a pretty badass look with the eye patch and the beard. I actually dig this. Tried to put this on my on the Marvel Now Thor in, in this way, but his head was too small. But yeah, but this is pretty dope. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get the second Thor and Iron Fist just to build this guy. This is pretty dope of a figure. So. If you are a fan of Thor, you should definitely get this. This is a pretty, pretty awesome look for Thor. Um, if you're not a fan of Thor, not really. If you want to save some money, I probably guess you can skip this build a figure. If you want to, but if you want to be a complete completionist and uh, and if you're a fan of Thor, you can. You should get this. This is pretty nice. Other than that, not really much to say about these two build figures. Except, uh, this is it for the wave. And a couple weeks from now, it'll be the Spider Man wave. I'm already saving up money for that. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next edition of Billy's Figure Reviews.